Greetings everyone, Rob Chastner here, continuing in our study verse by verse through the book of Psalms. And our last study, we <clears throat> were speaking about answered prayer in uh, Psalm chapter 27, and now we continue uh, on this study in chapter 28. Uh, if you don't have your Bibles, I'll put the verses in the box below this video. So at this point, Press pause, read verse 1, and then press play once again. Again, when we pray, we do not uh, pray to a statue. Uh, we do not pray to a concept. The Bible tells us that we are praying to our Father, and we're praying to a God who has presented himself to us as our Father. In fact, Jesus taught us uh, the style of how to pray in Matthew chapter 6, beginning in verse 9, where it says, Our Father, who art in heaven. Also, Francis Schaeffer, an American evangel uh, evangelical Christian theologian and philosopher and pastor, he said, God is there and God is not silent. And so David is now saying to God, don't be silent, answer my prayer. All right, press pause, read verses 2 through 5, and then press play again. Why is it that a person is judged by God? You hear people all the time taking shots at God, saying, I can't believe in a God who sends people to hell. I, don't, I can't believe in a God who judges man. Notice that he says in verse 5, this is the reason why God judges man. The number one reason, they regard not his works. These people do not regard God's redemption of humanity. God has given us the greatest thing which God can give us. God has given us the only thing which he could not create, his own son. And yet, men and women will let the, the, uh, the story of the gospel go into one year and out the other. It's absolute insanity that this is what the Creator has done for us, and we place such little importance upon it and regard not the work of His hands. The second reason why God judges us, it says, nor are they regard regarding the operation. That word operation, it means artistry, it means a thing of beauty. And as you go through the Old Testament, you can see hundreds and hundreds of prophecies and you see all of these types and figures of the feast days, and you see the sacrifices and all these things were all pointing to Jesus Christ and how the Lord and his genius was putting together this tapestry that was speaking and foretelling of the redemption of mankind. And human nature has man and woman, uh, women uh, looking at all of this and saying, well, this is no big deal. We don't want to be a part of that in our life. A man or a woman who takes that as their position will be judged by God and they will have no one to blame but themselves. They're making their bed in hell. All right, press pause, read verses six through nine, and then press play again. A couple of things here. Notice David is praying for himself in verses 2 through 5. He is saying, hear me, God, deliver me, God, and all of these sayings. And then um, uh, in verse 6, he begins to pray for others. He first prays for himself, and then he prays for others. If you've ever studied the book of Acts, um, in chapter 20, Paul is making his farewell speech to the Ephesian church, and he says in Acts 20, verse 28, he says, Keep watch over yourselves and the entire flock of which the Holy Spirit has made, for, uh, made you overseers. So you make sure that you first are a spiritual person. How in the world can you help anybody else if you're not a spiritual person? And so you need to be praying for yourself, for your own spiritual condition, for the sin that is in your own life, and praying that God will grant you victory over these enemies of your soul. And then once that is done, having those prayers answered and seeing how God has worked in your own life, now you can experience God working through you 
in order to help other people in their lives. God first works in us, and then God works through us. And so as he prays, in verse 9, he prays that God will lift them up forever and ever. Amen? All right, I hope this has been helpful and informative. Our next study will continue in Psalm chapter 29. Thank you for viewing, and good day.